Today, Kevin and I have an Easter thing for you. Uh, these, these are Easter treats that you can find right now at World Market. So these are Jelena Chocolatier Milk Chocolate Happy Trails Bar. We have tried uh, Jelena Chocolatier before on the channel. This, we're gonna say all these names wrong, just so you know that. It, we uh, were really judging the flavor and the quality. Not how we say Not so. how we say something. <laughs> so if we say it wrong, we just say it wrong. It is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna say Lamar. Lamar Hip Hip Hop, these are Filled Belgian chocolates. And these are Laisha or Lisa or something like that. Assorted chocolates. Okay, so the Laisha were $9.99. For a uh, 15.87 ounce bag. The Lamar were $6.99. Those are um, 6.17 ounce. And the Jelena was $11.99. 7.05 ounce. That's exciting. Benson. Okay, so we're going to try the Jelena first. And it has a piece of tape over the top. Every time you say that, I think of uh, Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Oh, I'm begging of you, please. Okay, here we go. Jolena Chocolatier, made with fine imported chocolate, milk chocolate, happy trails, bark. Every time I see, uh, well, it says Hoppy Trails, uh, Happy Trails. Uh, milk chocolate with almonds, marshmallows, and candy pieces. No chocolate, almonds, marshmallows, candy pieces. Okay. It's in a resealable bag. That's nice. Okay. This is made in Canada. JelenaChocolatier.com. Uh, no palm oil, no peanuts, small batch. No gluten. One portion is 40 grams. You and have it's, to weigh it though. It's 220 calories. Wow. That looks really filled. Wow. Yeah, there's a you lot going on. Probably break that one in half. Well, I'm going to pick my own because it says almonds and it. That piece you're showing me has all, it looks like all marshmallows. This is there is, almonds in it? This has got almonds in it. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. I want to make sure I've got a piece with some almonds. I see. The almonds are little. Mm -hmm. And they're all in it. <clears throat> Almost been down the wrong way. Um, <laughs> I like the texture of the marshmallows. They're really soft. They are soft. Almost like a, almost marshmallow cream. They're not quite that soft. But they're very, very, very soft. Mm -hmm. um, but the flavor is 90% um, nuts, almonds. That's what I was going to say. Even, even the chocolate. I was waiting for him to say almonds. Even the chocolate is secondary mm -hmm. to the almonds. Well, that's why it was $12. Well, got a lot of almonds in it. I mean, it's, it's, that's why this was $12. It's not just sprinkled with almonds, though. They've actually mixed the almonds in with the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Did you actually take all that out and put it on the plate? No, I didn't, I didn't take all of that. Yeah. I mean, almost all of it. No, that's fine. I just, you know, you always wonder, what do you get in this box for $12? You get quite a bit, honestly. People are paying $12 for that. That's it, except for some crumbs in the bottom. Yeah, that's, so that's what you get. That's pretty decent. Besides what the little pieces we ate. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah. But the reason I'm, I'm thinking, why are they charging $11.99 for that? I think it's because there's just a, an abundance of almonds in there. Mm -hmm. You could not possibly get a bite of that no. without getting an almond. No, like I said, it seems like it's mixed, pieces. it's mixed in with the chocolate uh -huh. itself. So Yeah, it, it, yeah they like um, chopped onions and put it, in, uh, put it in with the uh, milk chocolate and uh, stirred it. Not onions. Almonds. Did I say onions? <laughs> did, you say onions? did I say onions? <laughs> Almonds. Oh my gosh. Did I say onions really? Okay. Maybe they, you just heard no, onions. No. 100% said onions. Um, <laughs> Maybe they, it's mine. They accent. definitely chopped almonds. And almonds. Put, I think and I they said mixed, almonds. No, you did. You said onions. Uh, they mixed the almonds into the chocolate. So they made like an almond bar, but then they stuck stuff on top, which is more impressive for bark because a lot of times with bark, 
They just, just pour a pan of chocolate in there and just yes. sprinkle crap on top. They of take it. the easy way out. And yeah. They call it bark, and, and then we always say you can make this crap at home. Yes. Um, so you could still make this. You could at still home. make it at home. Just mix the almonds up first. Right, <laughs> but everything. I do think they did a good job. They did do a good job. It's just know that you don't really taste much of the chocolate or anything else. It's all. Almond. Okay. Can you imagine a chocolate covered onion? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure somebody's tried it. It's probably probably Ooh, somewhere. I didn't even. Oh, okay, I see. Do you want me to put these back in somebody's in bag? And... Well, I thought you would, but then you didn't. Well, and, I don't and know I, if you have room. Okay. It's okay. Okay. You know what? The table's here. It's clean. We need a bigger plate. Now. It's it's clean. Oh my gosh. We have baby sheep. We have. It looks like a hen. There, now you got some. The little red hen. Not a lot of rainbow, you got a little bit of rainbow. And then we have a, a lamb's dinosaur egg. It could be a chicken egg. It's it, it's a chick egg, but I... It, it does, it's got scales. It has scales. It looks like a, a Game of Thrones egg. Yes, it looks like, a, what's her name, Khaleesi is... I hear that every time Pam's phone rings. Da, da, da. Yeah, that still is my ringtone. After all these years... Yeah. That still is my ringtone because I love that show. Okay. She'll be dead and it'll be still my ringtone. <laughs> uh, hip hip hop. There is a lamb with hazelnut cream. Mm -hmm. There is a chicken with crunchy hazelnut cream. And there is an egg with creme brulee. Mm. These are filled Belgian chocolates. Uh, Limer, Lemur, Lamar, Belgian chocolates. One of those hopefully covered it. <laughs> Seven servings per container. Two chocolates is 140 calories. Hmm. So, do you want to try to bite one of these in half? Do you want me to do it, or me one first? Um, let's let's do the um, uh, just the the lamb because it's just hazelnut cream. Kevin I'll is bite it, but... he's silencing the lamb. No, I it's but you ate its head. Hmm. They're very soft, by the way. Mm-hmm. It's very creamy. Yeah, I mean, even the chocolate on the outside is not a snappy, like, texture. It's very, very, very soft. I love the hazelnut. It's, no, that is I mean, like luxury chocolate. Yeah, it is. It's like literally melting your tongue inside. Yes, and like, it, this is adult. Oh, adult, yeah. Adult and, chocolate. It reminds you of... It reminds you of Nutella, but it's much sweeter uh, and higher quality. Oh, I think the, the quality is yeah, incredible. It's very, how very soft good. and um, rich that is. That yeah. is absolutely terrific. Yeah, I'm, I'm, surprised. It's the whole, uh, I'm surprised at how soft the chocolate on the outside mm -hmm. is. That's what surprised me more than anything. Okay, now we have a chicken with chicken. crunchy hazelnut cream. So this should be the same flavor, but with crunch, I guess. I guess so. Well, yeah. this is milk chocolate too. Those were white chocolate. Uh -huh. I didn't get any crunch. I didn't either. Not at all. I'm guessing they were supposed to have had a little piece of hazelnut in the cream. Mm -hmm. They didn't. Nope. Yep. 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 There's a few itty bitty little pieces in there, but they're, they're so tiny. I think it ain't. None. Zero. When I'm you eating got it, like three little pieces. When I'm eating it though, you can't tell. Mm -hmm. I literally took it and let it melt on my tongue. And uh, that's what was left. Yeah. These so, would be... I don't be, want to stick my tongue out and show you my No, you don't want tongue. to see that. Um, this would be perfect for letting it melt on your tongue yeah. because it's so luxurious. It, it does melt really, really well. It hard. feels, it, it tastes expensive. It feels mm -hmm. expensive. Yeah. It's very nice. This, no, the, the, the hazelnut pieces, they're very, very small and you don't really notice them. So these, oh, these were six ninety nine. dollars um, right. I know that sounds expensive for, for this little bag, but it is really nice. So now this is the dark chocolate and it is creme brulee. Do you want to just eat it yourself? No. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Bite in half though. The mouthful when you get it all. It's still a very soft outer shell. It has like a it has like a caramel kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. But the dark chocolate's very bitter to me. 
Um, the dark chocolate, there is a lot of sweetness in there. Mm -hmm. A lot oh, yeah. of sweetness. Because it tastes like... Um, well, I think that creme brulee cream is very, very sweet. It, it's incredibly sweet. I mean, like, that'll be too sweet for a lot of people. And I can't imagine what it would be <clears throat> like if you did put it in, like, the milk chocolate or the white chocolate. Because it's so sweet, it's going to make your over, teeth hurt. Yeah. Um, it tastes like uh, just caramelized sugar, honestly. Mm -hmm. But the dark chocolate is the only thing that it's like i wouldn't eat another one because i i just don't want that dark chocolate it it, it does have kind of a um it's a deep bitter dark chocolate. yes it really is it's very dark but some i mean some people like that we'll dark chocolate. It. so so that's it's just not my thing it's like tammy's thing but but it's still a good quality product yeah absolutely i don't think you're wasting your money mm. on this bag at all no, and that's exactly why we picked them up off the easter table <laughs> at the market because you're like this stuff is not cheap. Is it worth it? I absolutely think this bag that would is be a, That'd be a good like teacher's gift or something. This is, if you gave gifts yes, to teachers on Easter. I think a an Sunday a, school teacher. There you go. I think an adult is going to appreciate these more than a child. Oh, yeah. Kids don't care. Uh, because kids, you can give them a, a Cadbury cream egg, which let's face it, who doesn't like a Cadbury cream egg? And they're going to be completely happy. But this is more for uh, refined. This is more of a luxury it's chocolate. A luxury. Absolutely. <laughs> thunder. The thunder and the lightning. Like the way you love me, it's frightening. It's, it's definitely stormy outside. No, uh, these are good. I like these. All. So, um, which one do you like the best out of the bag? Um, the the white the lamb. The 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 silencing of the lamb. I like the I like chocolate. the lamb too. Yeah. Because. <laughs> The uh, the chick, the hen, whatever that was, it I didn't get any crunchy pieces, and mm -hmm. I do like the milk chocolate very very much, but that um, that little lamb is the creamiest, mm -hmm. uh, just most incredible, very very sweet, but you really do get a wonderful hazelnut flavor. Now, I think it's because it's white chocolate, it, the chocolate flavor doesn't override the hazelnut flavor, so it's really strong. Yes, the, the hazelnut is strongest in the, the it's white. stronger in the white than it is in the milk. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. it's stronger. Yes. Okay. They're all good though. They're, They're all good. good. Yes, that's a true winner. Okay, this, I'll just tell you, I tried to go to their website because I'm like, okay, it just says assorted chocolates on the back. Does it have anything on the eggs themselves? Yes, it does. Okay. But I'm saying on the bag, it just says assorted chocolates. And it's not like I'm opening this bag and examining it before the review. So I thought, let me try to go into this review a little prepared and be able to tell you what flavors are in the bag. Guess what? I could not find this bag on the, the, uh, the, uh, their website. I went to their website. Oh, there's like a bell there's like for, a... for Christmas. That's interesting. Oh, oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh, these are, look, and this is like Austin Powers. This one's like Austin Powers. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Yeah, it's da -da -da -da. very 60s. Okay, so, okay, do I have one of these? I think I do. I think you do. I think I have a lot I'm of I'm guessing okay. the silver, the silvery wrappers are just chocolate. Like these, I'm guessing those are just chocolate. Okay, we have cocoa solids and chocolate. Uh, yeah, really? Cocoa butter, there's crispy cereals, well, there's so one of them, there's coffee. Yeah, there's a coffee one, I can see that one. Uh-huh. These, These are, are the only ones without labels, they just say... These are made in Italy, and it says 14 servings in the container, three pieces are 160 calories. This is chocolate. That was one of these little um, silvery eggs. I bet I these. I bet these big ones are, are all the same. No, I bet those are still just chocolate. You think? But it's bigger than the other ones. Hmm? I mean, significantly bigger. That uh, going from the Lamar chocolate go to this is a completely different experience. It's, it seems cheap. Completely different. I mean, I I don't think it's. Oh true. no, that's. Oh, that's Phil. Oh my gosh. I wonder what that is. Looks like cereal pieces. It is. It said crispy wafers. Mm. 
Oh, that's like. Worm says hazelnut. Something in cream? Mm hmm. I wonder if that's hazelnut. Mm. I don't know what that word means. But that, that is a, but that is a different <laughs> one. Uh, well. We've only tried the ones that have uh, okay. no labels on. Yeah, you have chocolate, mm. crispy cereals. Here, I'll just open it. This one just says milk. There's one with coffee. There's one with hazelnut. Well, this okay. one just says milk. That one says coffee. On this it. one says coffee, yeah. So we tried a big one. In a time. We and tried a little one. Egg shape one yeah. Okay. So all of these are going to be just chocolate. And this one's this. <coughs> milk. Yeah. Oh, that's the same thing. It's the same thing? thing. Okay. And which one was that one that you opened? What color was it? It was that one. It, it was milk. this one? It says milk on it. Did it have crispy pieces? Mm -hmm. That looks... Does you it look it. the same? They have just cereal pieces in there. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as the other big one you ate. Mm-hmm. I think it is too. I think it is the sun. And this is that one we don't know what this word means. Mm. I bet it's hazelnut. And I bet these bells are just plain chocolate. Did you try a bell? Was that what you tried first? Uh -uh. No? No. Ooh, this has, um, it looks like hazelnut a and, little cereal and crispy wafer, crispy cereal pieces. Mm, that might have a slight hazelnut flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not very strong, but it's got a little, a very light flavor. It is very light. And it's got cereal pieces in it, like rice crispies. It's not, it's, it's good. It is good. It is nice. If you're not comparing it, it's nice chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's not near as creamy though as this no, other brand. It's not a melt in your tongue. Kind this of. is a bell. Yeah, it's solid. It's just solid chocolate. Okay. I was the only thing you have left is the coffee. The bag. coffee, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to find that beginning of it. I'm just gonna eat the whole thing myself. Yeah, go ahead. Cause these are small. Yeah, these aren't very big. The, um, yeah, the quality of these is fine. If you weren't sitting here with the other one right next to it, I would think, oh, these are really nice. But since we had the other one first. <laughs> I know. It's a, yeah, I, well, I saved this one for last just because it has, I knew it had more uh, pieces to, you know, to try than just the three. You can pop all that. It's got a soft cream in the middle. Ooh, that is like pure black coffee. Mmm. It's so strong for me. Mm-hmm. There's not a lot of sweetness there. It's not bad. It tastes like um, <laughs> when you see um, espresso. That's what it is. It's just, it tastes it's like it's like um, you're eating the beans, though. Yeah, but that's what when you see these people with with these little bitty cups of coffee. Yeah. Um, it, but it still is very very sweet. There is a lot of sweetness there. So I don't get lost. But it tastes like a thick. <laughs> It's a thick coffee. Yeah, there's um, no creamer to that. There's no. Oh, see, to me, it is very sweet. I don't. It's I don't, sweet really with that. coffee. Um, I like it. Um, it is a little dark for me. It's a little. I mean, I don't. I like it because it does have enough sweetness. But you know, honestly, I'm never gonna pick a coffee flavored chocolate cake. No, you probably like would. I, I think we're done. I think we've had everything. I think we have two. I was gonna I'm just say. I'm some up for the picture. Um, I like the my favorite one in this is absolutely going to be the, the hazelnut the, ones. No, oh, not really? the hazelnut. No, Just the cream with I the like cereal. the cream with the cereal. Probably it's, this one. <laughs> it's milk chocolate and it has cream and it has little cereal pieces. Those yeah. are my favorite. Um, the ones that are just the solid chocolate, there it's a little bit hard. Yeah, it, they're kind of hard to eat. Yeah, it doesn't. It's it's like eating any solid chocolate in America. You know, if you go to Dollar Tree and you get a bag of little eggs like this, this is it tastes the same. So um, you know, it doesn't matter where these came from. It if that they did come from Italy. These taste is the same as what you get here. Um, just solid milk chocolate. Um, 
I think this is a pretty bag, but this honestly is not one I would get. Um, I wouldn't get this one again. Uh -uh. I think you could get, um, I would, I think you can get better. I'd buy just the regular big brand names yes. uh, is Walmart yeah, or Target I would or whatever. That's what I'm thinking. For a little chocolate eggs compared to this. The yes. little robin eggs that Brock's makes, I think it's yes. Brock's. Yeah. With the little crispy shell on them, those are, those are just as nice as those. Of course, those are all just chocolate, but Right, but I think these are pretty, but they're, they're um, okay. They're just, I just wouldn't spend the money on these. No, they're too um, and let me tell you something. If you don't know, um, I try to let everybody know this. At Aldi, Aldi comes out with the most beautifully packaged mm -hmm. holiday candy chocolates. So they're from Germany, and the outsides will knock your eyes out. They're absolutely beautiful. So... If you go to Aldi around Easter time, well, I wouldn't wait. I mean, I would ask your friends in. when to go. But they have beautifully wrapped chocolates. World Market does too. They have those same beautifully wrapped chocolates from Germany. But they're going to cost you three times as more just because you went in World Market and bought them. It's the same thing as oh. Aldi has for a lot cheaper. So just go to Aldi if, you, if you're interested in the packaging. Um, but these... This Lamar, really good. wonderful. Yeah. That the would be my I, choice of the whole five all the right. The only ones I wouldn't eat is the dark chocolate. I'd let somebody else eat those, but I would eat the other ones. Out. Yes, absolutely. But that's a personal preference, not because it's bad. Exactly. <laughs> so I'll have pictures for you at the end, and thanks for watching.